Yes, I'm making a YouTube channel. This is hilarious, what am I doing? Hello everyone. I don't know how to start a YouTube intro yet. Today, I'm gonna be making a homemade pizza crust. start by proofing the yeast. It's just one packet of this. I've done this before. I was with Germans last year and they were so fabulous at just like making their own bread and making their own pizza crust and like own desserts just without anything. They're just like, oh, it's just flour and oil and water. And I'm like, that's true. And Trader Joe's has that pre-made um, pizza dough. But that's like, I mean, it's a dollar, that's great. But also, a whole bag of flour is like three bucks. So I'm like, this can make 20 pizzas, probably a little less than that. But I have my yeast, hot water, um, not too hot, not boiling, but definitely warm enough. So it's going to activate the yeast. And for sugar, I'm going to do a tablespoon of coconut sugar. And something you should know about me is that I don't love to like measure things, so I just kind of go with it, you know? I definitely looked up a recipe for this. This is not off the top of my head. I don't even know what temperature the oven needs to be on. Give me a sec, let me check. The oven's supposed to be on at 450. So yeah, I am excited about this YouTube channel. I've always loved health and I've been on a really cool journey with Instagram. My dad, it was his idea, he's like, you should do a YouTube, like that's where that car has been going off all day. I bet you can't hear it, but it pulled my attention. I did this before, like two years ago, and I uploaded some videos, <laughs> but I think I was so nervous and embarrassed. I deleted them like a few days later. I want to come out with a cookbook, and I'm in the middle of writing it, so even to just like do these in person, I think the interaction would be cool, and just like to have a cool platform to just talk about some truths with y'all and share some thoughts and some cool recipes. I think it's gonna be a fun time. The yeast is proofed enough and I'm going to add the flour. Oh my gosh, I already bought the flour and then I remembered that my friend is gluten-free. So <laughs> just so it wouldn't taste horrible, I did half almond flour and half white whole wheat flour. So I think it'll be good. He can have gluten. Um, he just prefer not to. <laughs> okay, what am I missing? Salt. It needs a lot of salt. Salt, oil. Is that it? Tablespoon of oil. Got it. Oh yeah. Salt, sugar, yeast. I think I got it all. So I'm just gonna mix it together and just start kneading so it gets all the good stuff combined. This is just new to me. So. Now time to start kneading the dough. And this is a super fun part. You can do this in like a KitchenAid like with that, but it's definitely more fun to use your hands. Part of the reason like why I want to do what I'm doing and why I love cooking and why I got so passionate about it is because I really think like when you are making your own everything, like there's something about cooking for yourself and creating your own nutrition and energy and, and connecting like food back to your body, I think is so important. There's something that happens in the process. I'm kneading dough even though you can't tell. Okay, it's right here. I'm just gonna lift it up occasionally. Yeah, so part of the reason why I really wanted to do this was I just believe that it's so important to make your food and make it delicious and yummy and make exactly what you want. And there's so many funny stigmas with health and um, eating and diets even. Diets are so silly. I had a thought the other day that I think diets are our response to like uncontrol. When we experience like gaining weight, and I'm not saying like diets for allergies or anything like that, but for weight management diets, they're all in response to just lack of control, which is just kind of crazy. And I think you know, our bodies are geniuses and when we start to listen to them and give them what they're actually needing, what they're actually saying, and when we do it out of like love and care for our bodies instead of um, like punishing our bodies or using our bodies as trash cans and 
just eating for the sake of eating like that's when we that's when all the problems set in it's been a cool like two years of going from i am out of my house now and have to learn how to cook and oh my gosh i can eat anything to oh like i actually need to pay more attention to what i'm eating and um like even trying all the diets and and finding what works for me and going through allergy and dairy and gluten stuff and figuring out my digestive system. So I hope to talk a lot about that on here and give whatever experience and advice that I've gained through that and just share it and hear things from y'all hopefully. This is taking a lot of flour and I hope this tastes good because I'm not eating this. How to explain what I do. I'm one of those personality types that I'm like, I don't want to just do one thing. Like I want to do everything and do it well. And like, not to be like a jack of all trades, but to be like, oh, I actually like want to try out a lot of things and do it all with excellence. Not that like it's out of boredom of one thing, but it's out of like getting to add to things and um, like add to my skill set And like, even the way I view like getting a job now is like about being like, oh, I actually love this and I know it's going to benefit me. And when I have passion for this, it's going to all go well. It's going to be well with me. <laughs> okay, this is done. I think. I'm going to be done. So I'm going to pull out a beautiful tray. going to line it with flour. And I'm going to stretch this out and bake it for five minutes. So it's just evenly cooked and then I can set the oven to broil and then just make sure all the toppings are nice and roasted. Oh, this thing is thick, man. I blame the almond flour. Lord bless this pizza. So I'm just gonna push this to the edges. So I have pasta sauce. I mean, I have red sauce and I'm gonna throw some mushrooms, mozzarella, I have fresh basil I'm gonna put on top of it because spices, am I right? Herbs, herbs. And then I think I have a bell pepper. I also have some shredded chicken that I could do. Is it okay if this, this is a rectangle? Yeah, I think it's too thick. I think I need to keep going. So how's y'all stay been? I really value connection. So I hope this is something that um, I make space for y'all to reach out and contact me and if there are any questions or anything comes up or even wanting tips or tricks or slide into my DMs, okay? This will help, whatever I've been doing. I'm gonna put some flour on this. Really hope I haven't overflowered this. Oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? Oh, and it fits perfectly. Man, this can be one perfect pizza. Eight, eight. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. I'm going to throw this in the oven for five minutes and drink some greens. They said five minutes, no more, no less. And the dog needs to go out. I hope you can hear like my footsteps going and coming back. Meanwhile, in that five minutes, I was deboning a chicken um this is the pizza it bubbled up so much i don't know if you can tell how thick it is but it it's thick almost an inch tall and that's all like almond flour packed goodness i don't know if this is gross it's not gross to me but if it is let me know Sorry for that. I'll cut that out. Ugh. There's just still so much chicken in this. So I already put the pasta sauce on. I inherited the sauce and I may have put too much on, but hopefully that takes away from the dryness if this is too thick. You get points for it being homemade, you know? So I feel like there's a bit more like lenience and forgiveness here. And I hope it tastes better than just like frozen pizza, even though I have nothing against those. One tip 
I read is to do light cheese on the very bottom so that all your toppings stick. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. And mozzarella weirdly like goes a long way. Even just putting a little bit on it, you taste it all. Okay, so here I got some red bell peppers. Gonna throw some little pieces of mushrooms on here. And then I got a little basil, which I can smell right now, and it smells absolutely amazing. That's the one thing I hope we get in the future, is the ability to be able to smell through a camera, you know? I want that. I'll invent it. Also, sorry, Zach, that this isn't completely gluten-free. I feel bad about that. This is basil on top, and I'm just going to add a bit more cheese. Oh, this looks and smells so good! Oh, yeah. This was a good call. Okay. I'm going to call this good. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching my first YouTube video. This is going to be fun. I'm excited to do this. And for now, have a wonderful day, night, morning. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.